Okay, so today I'm going to cover the dumbbell clean and jerk. I'll also show the, the press and then the strict press, or the push press and then the strict press as well. But let's go over the, the dumbbell clean first. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the dumbbell. Now you can use a hook grip if you like. Uh, with the dumbbell you don't necessarily need to. If you're going heavy you might want to. Um, or you could just grab a regular, you know, regular grip. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip and I say let the weight dip below your knees. You don't have to necessarily touch the floor. I see that as a standard for like a lot of CrossFit competitions, but that's not necessarily a standard for doing the movement. So we're going to dip below uh, the knees and we're going to drive it up. And when we drive up, the elbow drives up and out. And then we turn over in the rack okay, and catch it. Now that's a power clean. So anything that we catch and we don't drop below parallel is technically considered a power clean. So if we did a full clean, We'd squat below parallel, okay? Generally, you do that because you have to get under the weight. It's gonna be very difficult for you to do a weight heavy enough where you're gonna have to actually dive underneath it here. But uh, another thing, uh, so anyway, for, for exercise, it's more common to use the power cleans with the dumbbells, okay? So we're catching it and then standing it up, all right? The weird thing about a dumbbell clean, Right? It's a weird rack position. I've seen a couple of variations. What I tend to do is stack it over my shoulder, but the weight is still really supported by your arm. So that's just one uh, drawback to dumbbell cleans. You know, we can try to lay it on the shoulder. It just doesn't really fit very well. So we have, you have to understand that position, maybe touch the shoulder like I'm doing now. Try to keep your upper arm connected to your body, okay, so that when you dip and drive, Right? You get a little bit more drive off from your torso to drive the weight up. Okay, So the clean and jerk looks like this. We're going to clean the weight up, and then we're going to jerk. Dip and drive, keeping the torso straight. Drive under, stand it up. Okay, So what I'm doing is I'm dipping and driving to get the weight up to about there, and then pressing under okay, to get the weight all the way uh, extended in the extended position, and then of course I stand up. Okay, so with the with the push press, I just dip and drive and stand it up. All right, so it's a stand it right up. Okay, and then of course strict press. Right, so we can clean and jerk, clean and push press, clean and strict press, whichever you prefer. I tend to prefer the clean and push press for general strength building. The clean and jerk, it's good. You get a little bit heavier weight possibly. The clean and press if you just purely want to isolate shoulder work, you know, at the top. So, um, but the clean is a full body movement. Even in the dumbbell clean or the kettlebell clean, you're working dozens of muscles in the lower body, dozens of muscles in the back and upper body core strengthening as well. So that's the clean and jerk, clean and press, or clean and strict press. And so if you have any questions, post them to YouTube. Stay strong. I'll see you next time.